Hello everyone. Today we're going to be answering the question people have been asking for months. Are Pet Sitter Pros worth it? To be honest, I have no clue, so let's get right into it. So I just got one like this hour, and uh, the last time I used one was when they first came out. I found one in the shop for like 100 sapphires less. But I'm not the best choice for a Pet Sitter Pro. I feed all my pets. So Pet Sitter Pro isn't for me, but let's look and see what are the pros and cons of the Pet Sitter Pro. So first off, the Pet Sitter Pro came out in June of this year and with the, came out with the token pets. So with the high influx of new pets coming in, a Pet Sitter Pro does make sense. So when they introduced it, the robot charging time was 24 hours rather than eight which it now is eight's okay 24 is definitely a stretch especially if you are feeding your pets or at least trying to multiple times a day so when the pet sitter pro came out uh, many people were skeptical if it was worth it or not and including myself I just got one I didn't actually buy one myself because it was 300 sapphires rather than just a normal 100 so that's the question if you divide 300 by 5 it's 60 per pet so is 60 sapphires to feed your pet manually worth it well it depends of course again myself I feed my pets every day at least once a day so the Pet Sitter Pro isn't really useful for me because I feed them manually and have a system. But some people don't have the time to feed their pets or they never want to in the pet station or something like that. Uh, maybe you have a spare account or something and you want to feed them there. That's a good point, okay? Uh, Another thing that Pet Sitter Pros have brought on was bulk feedings that are quite quicker than normal. Okay, so when uh, Pet Sitters started getting bought by people in bulk, they put five pets in each, let's say 10, bam, 50 pets right there, ready to get fed and then go on an expedition. So, that's definitely a good method, especially if your pets, um, your pets you don't really care about, or you don't need them to be taken care of by yourself, you just feed them. The downside itself on this practice is the cost of the pet sitters themselves, and the time it would probably take to feed them all because if you have bulk amounts of pets and you're feeding them all with pet sitters that's 300 per 5 if you have 400 or something that's like a few thousand at least okay maybe tens of thousands I don't want to math right now but either way it's a gigantic price to pay and I don't know if it's going to be worth it at the end. With the influx of pets from the pet tokens and the pet sitter pros, it seems like pet expedition items have went lower than they ever have been, including DNA vials. With DNA vials dropping, especially the marmoset and echidna ones, the green one's still basically the same it was, with those dropping and their pets you hatch from the vials, it's harder to sell and therefore make sapphires off of uh, pet expeditions. So that makes the question, is it all worth it at the end? It also matters, of course, what you're actually doing with those pets. Personally, I like to feed them and I like to level them up just because it's another thing to do. Usually, uh, I usually have a lot of fun with it during the day, and I multitask as well. I watch YouTube or something. 
So here it comes back to the final question. Are pet sitter pros worth it? My answer is a bit open-ended, of course it is. It definitely matters on your type of feeding method for pets, how many pets you send out in expeditions, and how much you care about your pets. Some people just get them to be burners for expeditions, so if you don't care about them whatsoever, pet sitter pros go all the way. If you if you don't have the time, buy some pet sitters if you're rich enough. If you have the time to feed your pets, I would suggest just keep doing that. Gain a system in some way. Usually I send out expeditions with pets in specific species because I have multiples of every single species of pet. So I send them out in, in multiples and it's usually easier to feed and don't forget that copy pasting also works with the new keyboard update they did a few months ago which is also super nice. Personally I'm gonna stick to the pet station but if you don't have the time and have the money the pet sitter pro is a good option. Thank you for watching and pet sitter pros I personally think are a bit expensive let's say. Uh, if it was a hundred sapphires, I'd probably be owning a most a few already. I would like to experiment sending out a group of fifty pets and instead of feeding them for twenty five minutes or something, just feeding them in six clicks or something. That'd be really cool. But then again, I enjoy feeding my pets, so maybe that would take away part of the enjoyment. Either way, if you like my content, then why not subscribe? And with that, this is Brad Stormer storming out.